bench going up first. Can I put the big one up just, you know, just in case it do not fit or it looks dapper, we can't position it and then... A little bit of EDB um, sounds of nature and things on the TV. And Nick's on to his next job. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Nicky's just getting weighed for fat fighters. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, let's put it this way, I think both are more fat. <laughs> I've amazingly lost two pounds since I last got weighed. 12 to 11. I must admit, this cooking for ourselves what rather than... <laughs> I must say, this cooking for ourselves seems to be working, even with that big stew um, last night. With dumplings. I've lost two pounds. And I'm having my fibre now. Yeah. I can feel massive differences in my stomach. More poos. No. Just mm. just more settled, less bloated. I've cut bread out, which is killing me. Speaking of breakfast, let's go and have some. We're gonna have some uh, cinnamon toast. Beans on toast. Can't have toast. I can. No. Right, we've just been doing a bit of work. Nick will show you in a minute what we're doing. We're gonna have some lunch. You want minestrone? Minestrone, yeah. Potato and leek or cream of vegetables? Minestrone. Okay. So we're having a cup of soup with a few crackers. Bench going up first. Can I put the big one up? Just, you know, just in case it do not fit or it looks darker, we can't position it and then everything has to go out. But I doubt it, but no, I, think it'll I'll right. I like it. It's just a shame so, it's absolutely wild wind outside. I know. And raining. But hopefully, we're hoping out with Saturday. <laughs> not anymore. Fingers crossed. Oh, has it changed? Yeah. Eesh. It's still going to be warm, but it's going to piss it down. Eesh. Right, they're all packed up to go back. We weren't keen on those at all. A um, little bit of EDB um, sounds of nature and things on the TV. And Nick's on to his next job. So we got that access point yesterday, which was crap as an access, as a Wi-Fi extender. I'm actually gonna make it a, uh, an access point instead. So I just need to build a Cat5 cable and then plug it into it, plugged under there. And that's more central to the apartment then. And I've just got to crimp it with the end on, test it, and then it can go in. Fascinating. I've been just tidying up, um, doing a bit of EDB work and other stuff. And what time is it? 3.18. Are you going to have a chill after you've done that? Wait a minute, I've done it wrong. Going to look for some, a new um, decking wrap, which we might like. Mm, I'm not sure what to do with it, to be honest. Whether we should just put perspex, clear perspex? That will be pricey, I bet. It's, it is, I've just checked. Forget that then. But it will also, also go smoky with age. Yeah, well, we'll have a look at other options. Or maybe some black rattan. For tea, we're having the leftovers of the stew, which I'm very much looking forward to. Do you know what I need now? Pair of scissors. You heat your mug everything before I finish. Will you get your bloody coat off in the house? It's not even cold, it's warm. I'm freaking busy me. doing jobs. Go and chill for an hour while I have the game on You're not having telly. I'm having it myself. Now we've got a working TV. I've done all the cable management. It's perfect. I just need a grey thing now that covers those cables that I can't get rid of. So anyway. So, um, I'd like to say a couple of birthdays. Firstly, to our lovely friend Charlotte, who is 30 years old. <gasps> that old? Yeah. Chill for now. I wish I were 30. Um, 30 I don't... years younger. <laughs> Um, so I hope you have a great birthday, Charlotte, and uh, hopefully one day this year we'll be able to get back together again. Um, and also, a beetrooty birthday to one of our other friends <laughs> called Gemma. Gemma's uh, fond of beetroot. Yes. If you look on Gemma's Instagram, I think it's Moodle Moo something, um, she basically posts, she has beetroot every day, like with everything. I mean, I think... Rice pudding and beetroot. She has risotto and beetroot. She has. <laughs> no, I don't think she's she that. has curry with beetroot. No, no, she no, does. No. She's not that obsessed with it. But I think I could eat beetroot. I'll show day. you. It's not beetroot with curry and things like that. So happy birthday, Gemma. She has she has curry with beetroot salad. And that's from Matthew and the kids, and of course us, Emily and Jack. Yeah, and we've just said uh, her th uh, happy birthday to Steph. We've just sent her a quick message. Happy birthday, Steph, as well. Right. There's no beetroot there. Oh, it's, it's not beetroot, it's a red onion, but wait a minute, I'm gonna find this. Just a minute. Right, omelette. There we go. Omelette and beetroot. Not wrong with that. Yeah, not wait a minute. wrong with a bit of salad and beetroot. I'm not done. 
She's and she's put a post a picture of the book, the, the Lodge Guys book she's reading. Maybe no, maybe she's getting that. oh wait a minute, there's beetroot on that one. Rice, something else with beetroot, one slice, bloody hell, she's pushing both out. No, wrong with that. Happy birthday, Jim. I hope you have a lovely day with your beetroot cake. Because she knows we take Mickey out of beetroot, she's eating less. Because if you go back a few months. Eat more, Gemma, just to shove it up Nick's face. Oh, look at that. There's 10 photos there, all with beetroot on. <sighs> Lee is doing my titting. Excuse me? Can't get his laptop to render the, the vlog. Now he can't get it to turn on. And he's just sat there writing in his book. My laptop does not turn on. So I couldn't give the monkeys. I'm going to make tea. Whatever. Mmm, it smells nice all day. <laughs> what, you splattered it all over yourself? Yes. Lovely jubbly. What's in the microwave? The Chatties. mash. This is going to have to go, the mash is going to have to go in here, then you go into the microwave, and then I'm going to put the parsley yeah. in. And I wasn't writing in my book, thank you. Yes, she was. Makes a difference. I was actually writing a letter to a very good friend in America. Yeah, so they got Mmm, got more friends than you. I thought you were going to be nice in 2021. I'm being absolutely. I'm giving exactly what I get. If that were true, you'd be giving out kindness, lovely goodbyes, and a load of shite. <laughs> um, what are we doing tonight? No idea. Shall we have a really nice, cosy evening on the sofa, watching films, watching TV? Let's do a watch party. Let's do an impromptu watch party. Well, okay then, you'll have to, what time is it? Half past five? We yeah, we'll do it from half seven. Right, think of a film. What it's going to be watch? a decent film, one that I really fancy watching, not some shy I've seen a thousand times. Well, ask them in the events room, see what they say. Shall I go and have a look on Netflix, see what there is? Netflix. Netflix. Be right back. Right, so we've had our evening meal. I was busy looking for a film for the watch party. So I went onto Discord and asked um, everybody in the events room, is there any, any films that you, you guys want to watch at seven o'clock tonight? And then they were like, um, Hang on a minute, it's, it's this bingo, what's it called? What Music it? bingo. Music bingo tonight. And I said, all right. I said, oh, it's all right. It, it, when Nico asked me to ask you guys if you wanted to watch party, and then they were like, well, it's Nico's running this bonk... Uh, Oh, bonkers call, bingo. I want to call it bonkers bingo. It's Nick who's running this music bingo, and Nick's like, oh yeah, I am. Yeah. I forgot. Best go and get it sorted. I'm just finding bingo cards now. So he's doing an online bingo We've game got tonight. 60s, 70s, 80s hits, Disney songs, or Eurovision bingo. Um. Well, can you do can you do two rounds? I'm going to do two rounds. I'm going to do a Disney round. Because you do Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah. So Disney a and lot, Eurovision. A lot of our patrons like Eurovision, especially Daniel Watson. Hi, Daniel. Um, is Eurovision mad? Um, I was going to say something then. Oh yeah, whilst we're having another meal, I've just watched another episode of Designated Survivor, which is good. It's very good. You like it. Uh, it's growing on me. But I hate series that make me nervous. Yeah, I like it. Um, so I'm just writing a letter. I'm going to finish the letter. Uh... Is she outside again? Yes. Did, did we mention on the vlog earlier? No. Our neighbours upstairs, we don't know who they are, I've never met them, obviously because they're on a different floor. Uh, but their balcony is above our balcony. And they've got a bird seed, like feeder, bird feeder on their balcony. And it keeps dropping through all the seed onto our balcony. And the pigeons are then coming to get it off our balcony. And, and shitting on the new furniture. Which in. has been fine until we've sort of started sorting it out. But it keeps dropping down, dropping down. So I sent them a lovely letter. It was very nice. I didn't put any stickers on it because I don't know. I'm going to say, we're waiting for stickers. <laughs> so I just introduced ourselves and just said, um, you know, explain what the problem was and would you mind putting like a mat underneath your bird thingy bob or something. Um, and I said, you know, feel free to shout down hello when we're out there in the summer and you never know, we might become friends. I'm spitting down. Um, that so when we were having this meal, we heard lots of sort of moving boom, around. Boom, <laughs> like metal being dragged across the deck. On the balcony. So hopefully that's... So the that's... was twitching through the curtains. I didn't see anything though. Hopefully that's all sorted and you never know, we might um, end up getting to know them. You never know, they might be watching this. Hi guys. Um, right, so you get Bonkers Bingo sorted. I think I'm going to do a face ready. mask um, a little bit later. I think this is one of those that Kathy sent me from LA. Line Smoothing Hydro Mask City Beauty. So I think I'm going to try that later. I'm just writing a letter. I won't say to who because it'll spoil a surprise because um, it's somebody who watches. But um, when you get the letter, hope you like it. Right, we're just starting our uh, bingo evening. It's the Disney round first. He's I'm just updating the vlog yeah, in a second. I'm having to um, whisper because Nick's just about to do a test song. Uh, just to make sure it all works, and then I'm going to be the song caller. Right, so the first um, song, let's go for The Lion King, Circle of Life. Right, he's giving me the song, I just need to find it. 
Right, Nick's carried on the bingo. We're doing a TV theme one now. Um, oh, there we go. I'm just coming down for a, a fire hair with um, honey. If you like the fire hair yogurts, these are really nice. A uh, little um, portion of honey to go into the yogurt. And now I'm going back to our game. Right, that was fun. Oh, it's a bit high up. There we go. You know, like sat on my bleeding knee. Can't get away from you. Right, we're going to do some comments of the day. So that bingo was really good actually. It was fun that actually, yeah. Right, let's have a look sis. It's a winter walk in the um, snow tonight is our... Oh, I thought that thumbnail were an EDB video there. No. Right, hold on, here we go. Gerard Davis says, hi guys, you can get an extension lead to charge Parker, not from the apartment. No, you can't, friend. there's no power sockets. No. Not when you're on like multi-floor high. Um, Pauline Fisher says, so sad to hear about your friend. Remember two sayings, every day is best, tomorrow will be a good day. Keep safe. This was the vlog where we let you guys know about one of our friends who yep. sadly passed away. Sue Foster says, so sorry uh, to hear about your friend. Sending all my love. Thank you, Sue. Pippa Goodyear says, toothpaste is brilliant for burns. I've heard that before, it actually. the sting out. Well, look at that for a sting. That's what it currently looks like. It won't heal when the damn camera stops focusing on everything around it. That's what it currently looks like. It's kind of, the one on the other side, there, that's healed. That one just won't bleed and heal. The skin around it's getting smaller, but it's still like open wounded. Well, it's not really hurting, but... Um... Whatever. Keith Mayhew says, is Nick double jointed? The way he sits on his computer chair with his legs folded under him, it makes me wince. That's the full locust, isn't it? Really well, I'm doing it now. Well, no, I'm, right, no, you're not on your knees now. Anybody can do that. No, but I can sit on my knees, but I can also I can also lay flat on my back with my knees spread out sideways and put my back flat on the floor. Lee can't even get halfway down, can you? No. My gran always used to be able to do that. My gran even used to be able to put a palms of her hands with her legs straight on the floor. Very how the hell she, How the hell she did that, I have no idea. MZ Talbs said, it says, if you could choose between Data or Diana, Oh no. Data or Dana? Who's Dana in Voyager? Out of them two, who would you like to meet? I would like to meet Data. He's one of my favourite characters. Dana. I don't know who... There's no Dana in Voyager. No. Um, you, you must spell that wrong. MZ. I think she means Diana from um, Next Gen. Yeah. Um, if, if I want to meet those two, probably... None of them now. They're a bit old. Well, it's alright because as they've got older, you've got older too. Yeah, but I want... that. I'm not in Star Trek looking like I am. Probably. Well, who would you like to meet, Data or Diana? Um, I've seen um, Marina Sirtis, Diana, in interviews, and I think she just. We're not talking about Marina Sirtis. We're about Data or Diana. If you were in Star Trek. Data. Probably Diana for me. I like Diana. She's one of my favourite characters. Um, so there we go. We're going to end the vlog. Let's just do one more. Because I'm off for a cup of tea. Let's just do one more. I have a bit of chocolate as well. Ooh. From that. Hold that thought. Ooh, Alison Lang has just commented and just said she's just finished a lion bar. I could murder a lion bar. You had one of it. I know, and you had half of it. Wishing now I even showed you it. Thanks for your comment, Alison. So, we got in the post of the day, I haven't shown it yet. Um, you show what's that. It's a box of, you say it was Romanian chocolates. Romania, yes. Yeah. When well, you said it like a sound, pronounced it sound Romania. Yeah. Daily and Nick, here is a little gift of Romanian treats. It reminds me of my childhood. I thought I would send it for two reasons. One, for reading out my topic of the day, which was the secret law of attraction. And two, to cheer Nick up for reason number one. Love you guys. Keep up the good work. Christina, Gabriella, Adam and Jacob. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for that. Lee's already been cracked open. I have. It's Etten, half of an Africana. Etten. Yeah, Etten, Etten half, half of an Africana. Really nice. Not, not really nice chocolate, that. Not sure about these. They look like... Um, these look like the things you get in packaging. What's it? Yeah, but they look like the stuff you get in packaging. Oh, we'll try them. They look like what's it? Well, yeah, we'll try them. Obviously. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog. Um, oh. I'm going to have a tattoo. Hopefully. The sun might be out when we get on balcony tomorrow. Oh, I don't even want to think about that because I'm having to find some other alternative now for those screens. You could do that in your pit. No. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.